All right, what's up guys? It's Wednesday, it's hump day. We're here to get after it. Today we've got two pieces of the workout. Um, part A, we're gonna start with a little bit of a leg focus. We're gonna go with five sets, eight split squats on each leg. So eight on the right, eight on the left, right into 15 glute bridges. And we're gonna want to rest 90 seconds after each round and we're gonna try and stay focused on that rest time. So eight split squats on each leg, right into 15 glute bridges, five rounds worth. On the split squats today, um, you gotta get a ch choose to uh, do whatever variation uh, you'd like to. So you can go rear foot elevated, so back foot goes up on top of an elevated surface, a box, a step, or something like that. You can do that variation. You can just assume a regular split stance where both feet are on the ground and you take that nice long split and do it that way. Or you can go front foot elevated on top of a surface, so I would say four to six inches on that front leg so you can get a little bit more depth on that range of motion. Kind of play around with it, see what fits best for you, what feels best. Um, change things up, maybe go with something different than you would normally do on that one. Okay, on the glute bridges, we want to provide some variation of resistance if we can. So if that means holding a barbell across your hips, a loaded barbell across your hips while you do those bridges, or holding a dumbbell or a kettlebell on top of your hips, you can also do that. You can even hold a bumper plate on your hips. Um, if you have a mini band that you can put around your knees to force a little bit more external rotation, get that you know, glute activation fired up, you can do that in addition to loading up the hips. Um, or if you don't have anything to externally load, you can just use that um, mini band around your knees. So kind of play with it. If you have some way to create some extra resistance, that's what we want to go with. So after that, we've got four rounds of work in part B. We're going to do some intervals. One minute at each station, you're going to start with a 25 foot shuttle run, then a minute of wall sit, and then one minute of jumping lunges. And then you get to finish with a minute of rest. So it's three minutes of work followed by one minute of rest. Shuttle runs, 25 feet at a time. Every 25 foot length counts as one rep. You're gonna try and squeeze in as many as you can in that minute. On the wall sit, you wanna get right to the wall and you're gonna try and hold for the duration of minutes. There's no transition time in between movements, so you gotta hustle to your wall, get into that sit and try to hold it the whole time. And then right after the wall sit, we're going alternating jumping lunges, okay? So every time you jump in the air and switch legs, that's one rep. Um, quality is always the priority on that one. So if you find that it's hard to balance or you don't get a very good stride on your lunge, just go to a stepping lunge, okay? Just switch right to that reverse stepping lunge. That'll provide a little bit more opportunity to maintain that quality as you fatigue, okay? We don't have a lot of that lateral wobble, all right? So try to hammer out as many reps as you can in those four rounds. We're counting the lunges and we're counting the shuttle runs. The wall set, you're just trying to hold for the entire minute, okay? Have fun with this one. Get after it. Attack the middle of the week. We'll see you tomorrow.